By now you've probably heard about Microsoft Word's dictation feature that allows you to author documents with speech to text using a microphone and reliable internet connection. If you haven't, check out the quick two minute recap on my channel. But building off that dictation technology, Microsoft has enabled the ability for users to transcribe audio similar to services like Otter or Descript. This includes live recordings where multiple participants are speaking, such as meetings and interviews, or recorded audio like MP3 audio files from a Zoom meeting. Here's how it works. So before we start, it's important to know that if you're using Word Online, you need to have the Chrome or Edge browser. If you have a Mac and use Safari like I do, you won't be able to see the transcription feature yet. But if you have Chrome or Edge, then you're good to go. So start by navigating to Word Online. Select the drop down to the right side of the Dictate button and choose Transcribe. Here, you'll see your two options. Let's start with the option to start recording. This will enable Word to capture and transcribe the audio from the conversation I'm about to have with a student. At the bottom of the window, you can select the language for this transcription. Now that I'm ready, I'm going to start my interview and select the button that says start recording. Hello, Sammy. How are you? Good. Are you ready for our reading activity? Yeah. What's your favorite part about reading? That we get, that we get to use our super kid book. Okay, thank you. After a few moments, the audio will be transcribed. As you can see, the built-in artificial intelligence will detect the different speakers as well as the timestamp from the recorded audio. And I can play the audio back at any time. Hello, Sammy. How are you? Good. Are you ready for our reading activity? Yeah. I'm going to edit the names of each speaker for clarity. First, myself. And then Sammy. Then I'm going to play back the audio to clean up any of the transcription text. About reading. That we, that we get to use our super kid books. Okay, thank you. I can easily edit any of the incorrect transcriptions from Sammy's audio. Once my audio is cleaned up, I can start to build my document. Clicking the plus button next to any transcription will add the text to my document. You can add line by line, or you can add all the transcriptions at once, selecting which part you want to include in your document. And there we go. As you can see, the entire transcription is now inside my Word document, and that includes the speaker, the text, the timestamps, and the actual audio recording. Of course, I can edit any of this on the actual document as well. And if I want to find the actual audio file of the recording, it will automatically be saved in my OneDrive. Now speaking of audio recordings, there's one more feature that I want to share, and that's the ability to transcribe any audio file. So here's an MP3 file of a podcast I can upload, and in a few moments, Word will automatically transcribe that as well. Now, it should be noted that while this service is initially free, there is a limit. Users are restricted to 300 minutes of transcription per month. But if you need more time, there are several plans that you can upgrade. So whether you need to transcribe an entire conversation or an audio file that you've previously recorded, Word Online's transcription feature is a fantastic free option.